Wow. Good morning. Uh, it is six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. We are going on a day long car trip around Minnesota. So I've taken you guys on this adventure a couple of times, once on my main channel and once on this channel last year. And the year before that was on my main channel. Um, but today is the day that we travel around Minnesota to go and take care of the graves of the family members that have passed away. Um, so I guess we're heading to Wadena and Verndale first, which is where my grandfather, my grandfather is buried in Wadena and my great-grandfather, my great-grandmother, and my great-great-grandmother are all buried in Verndale on my dad's side. And then we're meeting my sister and her family. This is going to be the first time I've seen my sister's family since February. It's the first time I've seen my sister's family, I think, since Disney World. So, Graham was probably driving... Kinsney and are probably married with children. <laughs> That's how it feels. I'm so used to seeing my family on a regular basis. I'm, you know, we're not getting together indoors of any sort. We're only gonna be together outside. Um, I'm assuming we're still gonna be social distancing from each other. Um, so we're, we'll see what happens when we get there. But um, I'm very excited to see my sister and my fa sister's family. I miss my nieces. I miss my nephew. I miss my sister. I miss my brother-in-law. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is the first time we're going to be seeing them, I think, since Disney World. I think we may have seen them once since Disney World, but we're talking early February. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to meet them in Cross Lake, which is where my grandmother, my grandfather, and my aunt on my mom's side are all buried, plus my uncle on my dad's side is buried there and a couple of other people that we know are buried there so i'll visit their graves and then we're gonna head to morrison county where my great grandparents on my mom's dad's side are buried and then uh the ancestors that came from poland uh in bolus so it's piers piers is where my great grandparents are buried i think and then bolus is where they are my three times great grandparents, our brain. So that's the plan today. And if you, you guys don't know Minnesota, so like, oh, and then luckily it's just here in the Twin Cities. But at some point we're gonna stop at a family friend, Terry, who is basically like my uncle. Uh, he's buried at Fort Snelling. And then I can't think of the name of the cemetery, but where my aunt Sandy is buried. So my, my mom's sister. That died um, at two and a half. There's one more grave that we really should visit, but we never do. Like, we never make the trip because it's in North Dakota. Um, and that's my dad's sister that died as a stillborn. And nobody ever visits that grave. And that's why my grandpa didn't want to be buried there because it's there's like this full Hallis grave site, like this whole cemetery that uh, it's a family cemetery back in where my, where the Norwegian community is and um my grandfather didn't want to be buried there because he said that nobody would go visit him and it's kind of true because I don't think anybody goes to that cemetery on a regular basis then again we just only started going to Wadena to go visit his grave um a couple of years ago and so I think other family members have gone to visit his grave, but we haven't. So we've now made that. We did it. We started doing it on what would have been his 100th birthday year. Not his 100th birthday, but his 100th birthday year. So it would have been like a month because he was born in June, I think. So um, uh, his so it would have been like a month because we do it this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, which I am fully aware that Memorial Day is about people who have passed away that served the country. My grandfather on my mom's side technically did. Um, so he actually gets a flag for Memorial Day, but um, my grandmother just took it as we're remembering all the people that have passed away. Um, so we just celebrate 
all the people who have passed away. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. I have to take a shower because, well, I mean, I guess I tamed it down a little bit, but I have to take a shower uh, and get ready to go. I downloaded a bunch of episodes of Mystic Force. Um, I know last year I drove by myself. I'm not going to drive by myself this year. And um, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit in the front seat. And I get claustrophobic in the back seat. <laughs> so I'm going to distract myself by watching basically just Netflix all day <laughs> while we're driving. Um, so it's so funny because when I was a kid, I never understood like why I hated long car rides. I hated long car rides. I got so anxious during them and nobody quite understood what was going on. And then it turned out, I realized at some point in my adulthood that it was because I'm claustrophobic in the backseat. And so um, a lot of times when we're in the car, um, either my mom or my dad will let me sit in the front seat just so that I don't get as anxious. But generally in car rides like this, um, <laughs> we kind of throw that out the window because nobody likes sitting in the back seat. So um, they're just like, distract yourself. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's why I usually tend to drive by myself on these days, but I don't feel like doing that this week. I'm looking to see, so we have a deer in the backyard and I'm pretty sure she's going to give birth. So, and it's raining. It's raining right now, so that's fun. But yeah, so that's the plan. I have to make my bed, go get ready for the day, feed. These little losers were getting on the road by like 7.30. So, we'll see what happens. We're gonna, like I said, go to Verndale and Ladina first. But yeah, if you guys don't know Minnesota, all of these things, they're all like in central Minnesota. So it's not like it's that far. But they're all like decently far away from each other. Like to get from Wadena to Cross Lake is probably an hour drive. To get from Cross Lake to Morrison County, which is about almost halfway to the Twin Cities, um, that is another like two hours or so. Plus like to get from where my great grandparents are buried to where my three times great grandparents are buried. That like that's a 45 minute drive. And we haven't found the best routes yet to really make it like the easiest drive. Um, to get to Fort Snelling, I mean, I live not too far from Fort Snelling, so that's not a big issue. And then uh, where Sandy's buried, why can't Resurrection Cemetery? That's what I'm thinking. I think it's in Invergrove Heights, I think, or Mendota Heights. I don't remember. It's one of those two. <laughs> It's a, it's a town with the hut with the word heights in it. It's again here in the Twin Cities and it's not far from where I am. It's probably a 20 minute drive from where I live. So like those aren't so bad, but going back to where I grew up, I grew up, my dad grew up in Wadena and uh, I grew up in the Brainerd Lakes area. My mom grew up in the Brainerd Lakes area, which is where Cross Lake is. So um, I'm literally going home. <laughs> But I don't think we're going to do any sightseeing at home like I've done in the past with you guys. But, uh, yeah. That's alright. Anyway, so that's the plan. We're going to find takeout uh, with my sister and her, their family and do some kind of picnic. Unless it's raining. Like, that's going to really put a damper on a lot of plans. But just because it's raining down here doesn't mean it's raining up there. So, we'll see what happens. But it's definitely raining down here. So... If you guys don't know, the Twin Cities is a lot further south than, uh, oh my god, I've been talking for 10 minutes. Uh, Twin Cities is a lot further south than where we're going, so if you guys don't know what the Twin Cities are, it's Minneapolis, St. Paul, so I live just south of Minneapolis. Um, I live in, this, in a Minneapolis suburb, technically, even though the city I live in is like the fifth largest state it is fifth largest city in the state I think so I'm making my bed as we talk so okay I need to like put my decorative pillows up now so bye all right shower has been had face has been washed I am dressed now it's time for breakfast and then I'll brush my teeth and feed them let's get there. all right breakfast has been had the animals are supposed to be eating I mean Cosmo is but Nova gets a little weird there she goes. So Nova's food is over in this window. 
And then her water is over in the kitchen window because if you guys don't know, I do wanna do on my main channel videos about dogs and cats, random little tips about them that I've learned in the 12 years I've had my dog and in the 30 years that we have lived with a ridiculous amount of cats. Uh, <laughs> video on that coming soon. I'm not gonna film any like actual videos today because I'm not gonna have time to do that. So I'm glad I'm ahead. <laughs> So I don't have to rush when I get home um, to film something for Thursday. Um, and then next week, hopefully I'll be able to film a few videos, like maybe three and edit all three on Sunday. But I'll edit this vlog and then the vlog that I haven't edited yet <laughs> that I did this week. Um, I'll edit both of those. You do a potty? Come on then, hurry up. Um, I'll edit both of those then. Uh, tomorrow. Shit. Apparently the alarm didn't get turned off this morning. Okay, go. Hurry up. Anyway, Cosmo wants it already because it's raining. He doesn't like rain. He's a water dog and he doesn't like rain. And we're going to be gone all day. Are you sure? Are you sure you're done? Because we're going to be gone all day. I'm not locking my cat in there, am I? Yeah, find out. Did I lock my cat in there? No. Okay, she's right there. Okay, because sometimes I've I realized it very quickly, but I have locked my cat in there before. Not all day, not all night, nothing like that, but it has happened. So the other thing too is that I have a disc and a half left of Gower Ranger. So um, disc seven is in my Blu-ray player right now. So my hope and desire is to not fall another day behind. Um, I'm currently two days behind, so I would have finished it today, right? Yeah, I would have finished it today. Um, but there was one Saturday that I didn't watch anything and then one Sunday I didn't watch anything. So my plan is to not fall any further behind. So that's the other reason why I'm very excited. <laughs> I don't have to worry about filming today because when we get home, I can sit down and watch the last three episodes on this disc and kind of, and then watch three tomorrow and then three on Monday and be done with Gal Ranger and start my, and start Wild Forest. I was thinking about maybe playing it uh, a little dangerous <laughs> and starting Wild Forest on this trip today, uh, starting Wild Forest a little early, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cheat. I have been so good. Except for I've watched a couple episodes here and there. Whenever I'd watch a Sentai episode, I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember this episode so well. But now I'm like having trouble remembering how it actually went. So like um, the Dash episode of uh, Time Force was one, was the one that I did during Time Ranger. There was one I did during Mega Force. And then there's one that I did during, not Mega Force, Mega Ranger. And then there was one that I did during Car Ranger as well. But I think that was because that was a, how did that work? Oh, no, 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 no. You know what it was? It was during Mega Ranger, but they took a Mega Ranger episode and they made it a Turbo episode, right? The Air Utan episode was actually, am I remembering that correctly? I think I'm remembering that correctly, that they, it was a Turbo episode, but it was based off of a Mega Ranger episode. Anyway, so I'm going to come home after this, watch the Mega Ranger and Gower Ranger, and then uh, hopefully finish it on Monday so I can start Wild Force on Tuesday. right there no. right by that little tiny tree
So right where the house sits is where your house was. And then the silo without the top is the silo that you guys had. Right. And then the barn used to sit where that barn is now. So when the barn broke down, that's what they built. Got it. Did your what did your house look so like? Is the fencing still original then? Aspen House. Um, well, a little different. Okay. Is that the same mailbox? Uh, probably. <laughs> How much land did you guys have? 160 acres. Wow. So there was two what 80 are acre farms. Were we gonna go visit them now? No. Is that a horse? So two 80 acre farms. Right. So, so this which was, way? This was one 80 acre farm. And then the other? And then I'll take you to the other 80 acre farm. And Do they adjoin? Well, yes, but we couldn't get to one from the other one taking the road because of the swamp. Is that why you had to start driving so young? Actually, still so goes to this, where it's supposed to go. Was this your road then? Being that this is a dead end road? No, this was all our land here. And then this over here was for years. These guys stole our cows. Stole your cows? Why would he do that? He was just a, a jerk. So then Vernon Mason came over with his, his truck and we went up in the yard and he took out a hammer and Roger Grenier came out. So they obviously sectioned off some of this land. Yep. So it's not all. Our truck cherries used to be long over there. How about that equipment? That the equipment looks pretty old. Yeah, so I think it's probably our old equipment. Wow. Really? Do you think it was? Probably. We should take a picture. Yeah, why don't we stop and take a picture on our way back out? That's really cool. Two houses, and this is an original oh house. And that is not uh, that's original. That's original. Oh, wow, and it's abandoned. We should go inside. Let's go inside. We have to go now. We're not gonna go inside, but we're gonna go walk up to it. Can we? You think so? Why not? Oh my think? gosh, dad, let's. Oh my god, so did you ever like go inside there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was a bunch of buildings here. Wow. So you guys didn't live in this house, though? Oh, so it was livable. Oh, yeah. People who lived here had goats that lived in the house. Wow. Obviously, people have squatted here and graffitied a lot. Wow. Wonder why it was abandoned and not upkept. This is the kitchen here? Yeah. Hey look, you can it still a, see the linoleum. It had a cistern pump in it. Yeah, I don't want to walk in there because the floor could get way through the basement here. Oh, oh and um, asbestos. Oh, and asbestos too, asbestos. Oh my god, and shiplap. Look at the shiplap. I mean, and some the of brick. This would be worth Looks a like fortune. fake brick now though. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> this, this could be... Um, some of that stuff could be very gold. I mean, wow. usable as, as... Like building material. Unless it's rotted away. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, there's an antenna. That's what I meant. Satellite. Satellite dish communicates with satellites up there. Again, put the bathroom in because 
it had an outhouse when we bought the house. I mean, there's like, there's no room in there. Look at that. That is just so small. Yeah, I don't know if I like this house. Um, there's a lot of work to be done with this house, you guys. That's scary. That is really scary. Yeah, that looks like that could be an animal of some sort that lives in there now. Yeah. I mean, as far as I would say, like, a wolf or a bear. I'm thinking bear. Something lives underneath the house. Yeah, no, I'm kind of wanting to go. But not before I take a cool picture of it. So you used to walk right here when you were little. Oh, really? Wow. Huh. Next up, my great grandpa, my great grandma, and then my great great grandma. Which, my great grandma is technically not buried here. But she is, because they snuck here, I guess, in the middle of the night. <laughs> buried here. Not my dad. Uh, my dad's mom's. My dad's mom's uh, sister or family. So, Aurelia, Angel Clark, that's my great great grandma. And then Robert H.G. Broker is my great grandfather. And then Lila Broker was my great grandma. And she is also cremated ashes here somewhere. My parents are making friends. So. And then my dad's grandfather's, this grandpa, his farm is right there. The farm that my dad basically grew up on. All right, there we go. And we're off. Yeah. Matt. I haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah, he's riding a unicorn. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> like a unicorn unicycle. Yeah. That's oh, really God, funny. That way for the kids to see Well, that's the way to Zorba's, so we're going to go that way if we're going to go to Zorba's. Zorba's is that way. Yeah. Oh, that's Zorba's. Zorba's. Uh, where? What Zorba's did you think we were gonna go to? On east, on where we have our old friend Lake. Where? Lake. Oh. No. Yeah. What? There's only. Over by where our cabin is. Over. Over there. Oh God, and no! Over, the Zorba's right. here. So we're gonna eat at, well not at, we're, we ordered from Zorba's and we're going to eat, oh my sister and brother-in-law just pulled up, um, but they screwed up because, so part of the thing with Zorba's is they replace all S's with Z's, like that's just a thing that they do. And they screwed up. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see how they screwed up? The your cell phone, no. So they screwed up. How funny is that? Yeah, we're getting food. My sister's family. Um, more people ended up showing up. More of my mom's family ended up showing up at the graves, which was frustrating for me, especially since it seems like the boomers just don't seem to take this seriously. And it's just really frustrating because the boomers need to be ones, the ones taking it more seriously. So everybody was like hanging out and hugging and I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable with this. But if I had said I don't feel comfortable with this, then everybody would have freaked out. So 
That's how my day is going. Now we are at Holy Cross Cemetery where my mom's grandparents are buried. I don't remember where they're at though. Um, and okay, let's go over here. His dad's walking over here. This is a Polish Catholic church and a Polish cemetery. And oh, there they are. Um, so it's kind of fun. And now we're in North Prairie, near Bolas. We're gonna go see my great, great, great grandparents' graves. This is a, we just met somebody pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the footstones aren't taken care of anymore. And down oh right here here's the big Yorick that's their sons and then a couple down is Jacob and Christina they're boorish so I wonder if that's one of his family too this is one that's written in Polish too the dates so this was their son John but Jan and I don't know who these two are in between them. And then here's Jacob and Christina. Oh, they didn't take it. Does that one still work? No. That one's dead? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it works. Good. Let's see. And so Lipka, if I remember correctly, is July. And Lut, I think, is June? I think. <clears throat> yeah, we never did find out where where she was. She's here. At least last time I talked to. Oh, she's buried here. She's buried here, but they never her pulled her it up. Name. Right. Because they, when I asked them, they said, "No, there's there's two full plots there." Well, so. There's two full plots. But... No, 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 like full. Oh, full. Like yeah. used. Yeah. Like there are human beings in there. So she's there. It's just we don't know when she died. And I never knew that Barton was a Polish last name, but apparently it is. And not just because it's in the cemetery, but because I looked it up. Well, Lamb doesn't seem Polish either. But most, it, most if not all of them, are Polish because that's this is a Polish Catholic church. Right, but. <clears throat> That's possible. But yeah. Fun times. Yeah, I want to go back over here because I, I know I was um, impressed. But maybe not so much anymore now. Salors. This is another one of your family. Cool. Salors. I can't remember whose maiden name this is. Salors is another m member of your family. A little bit of surprise. We decided to come and find more of mom's family and we did oh, so here's this is your uncle so grandpa's I older brother yeah i mean i was well aware of those people that uh your uncle and your aunt but it was your uncle so grandpa's brother grandpa's brother 
And then here's a Salors as well. And, and then this is must have been the baby. My, uh, not I don't think so. But yeah, so this would be your great grandpa and your great grandma. Okay, 1893. Anton. Anton. Anton was the one born in Poland. Right. Came here with Jacob and he's Jacob and Christina's son all three of these people were the same age so this is odd this isn't so i need to look up joseph because maybe joseph is anton's brother i think and then here's mary which i'll have to look up 1902 wow well that's so much fun so i wonder if that's the lords over here that you're related to too then the first the lords we saw yeah so this is your uncle pete uncle pete and, and Francis, Francis, your aunt. Yeah. Quite a bit older than Grandpa. Yeah. 1911. Yeah. Grandpa was born in 1930. Wow. Oh, he looks just like Grandpa. So Look I'm at him. Mary. 1902. Must be Anton's sister. I'd have to look her up. Sister. Okay, so we are home. We've had dinner. The animals have been fed again. Cosmo's been out potty. I have brushed my teeth. I have washed my face, moisturized. So you can kind of see my rosacea on my lips got bad today, which is really weird because usually that only happens in the winter time, but whatever. But we're home. We've been home for hours <laughs> at this point. Just forgot to update this vlog and I'm gonna go to bed. I am so tired. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys had a good time. Um, you can check out some more videos right there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep now. Na -na. One real quick addition before you see my outro. Being a good girl now, I'm wearing my hat finally. Um, now we're gonna go see my mom's sister and the family friend that passed away a couple years ago now. So, we're off. Okay, go, so I'll get more. Hmm. Almost two years now. Yep. It is good they come and dig these all out every year. Mm -hmm.